when we first start Pan Pan Farm, Pan Pan Community, the soil is so bad. There's no trees on this land, and there's only a few kind of grass grow in this land. But after a few years later, we can develop the soil, make the soil more loose, more fertile, and we have more trees, more green things growing. And now it's become a place for many life growing in here. There are many different kinds of animal, bugs, ants, many things. This is a kind of ants. This kind of ants, they work very hard to help to till the soil. They till the soil, make the soil loose. They dig very big hole to bring oxygen into the soil. But in the same time, they want something returned. Whenever we sow seeds in the bed, all kind of vegetable seed or beans, they will come and take it away without asking for permission from us. Sometimes we need to divert their thinking by give them some grain somewhere else until our seed sprout and then they will not disturb us. Sometimes when we grow eggplants, we will see some shoot of eggplant wilted and die like this. But when we break it, we can see that there's some hole in there. And then in that hole, if we open it, we will see some kind of caterpillars in there. This kind of caterpillar, they make the shoot of the eggplant dry up. And then the eggplant will have more shoot come out. But if we have too many of them, our eggplant will not have a chance to have fruit. So we need to pick them off to save the eggplant some time. We always have many kinds of caterpillars in the farm. Some of them eat banana leaves like this. Some of them eat different things. But Normally, they don't damage a lot of our vegetable. They will eat some. So we just let them eat. Let them share with our vegetable. Because when they become butterfly, they help to pollinate a lot of things for us too. So it's good to share together. Some kind of caterpillar like this. We don't even know what do they eat, how did they come here, how is their life is. But we just enjoy to see them because they are very rare species for us. It's good to see something different. Some caterpillar like this, it look funny, so big. But they love to eat our eggplant's leaves. When they eat, they eat the whole thing. So we don't let them eat a lot. Sometimes we just give them to the chicken because chicken love them too. So they can share our eggplant leaf and we can share them with our chicken. Sometimes we will see tiny, tiny eggs like this under the leaves of the eggplants, but not really long. We will see them curl the leaf together. They pull the leaf together with the sticky web like this. And when we open it, we can see so many kind of tiny caterpillars in there like this. This kind of caterpillar, they eat so much. So we don't let them eat too much because we want to save our eggplants. Many times we just pull them out from the, pull the whole thing out and give to the chicken too. Chicken love it too. Some of caterpillar is so colorful, it's so beautiful. 
We don't know what do they eat here, but we didn't see any damage in our garden. We just let them enjoy eating whatever they want because they look nice. And one day there will be a beautiful butterfly. So we just leave them like that. We don't give to the chicken. Some kind of caterpillar is so tiny. They did not eat a lot. So we just let them eat whatever they want because it doesn't cause a big damage. Some kind of caterpillar is fun for kids to play with because this kind they can change the color, depend on the color where they live. When they are on the red color, they start to change the color into red. And the kids love it. We just let them play because it's, it's some kind of educational thing for kids here to see the beauty of nature. We have more friends. We are not alone in our farm. Every day when we walk around the farm, we will see different kind of caterpillars every day. We can see different character, different habits, and different kind of eggs. There are many kind of eggs on the leaves everywhere. It's so much fun that we have so many friends be together. The farm is like the big classroom for our children who live in the farm. Every day they will see different kind of animal, different kind of caterpillars, different color. It's so fun to see different things. And in the same time, after caterpillars, they become butterfly. Many different kind of butterflies here. When we have many different kind of caterpillars in the farm we'll start to see that there are many different kind of wasp move to our farm too some of them are very incredible natural builder they're building their house with soil with clay like this they like to build their house on the wall on the tree or somewhere with no rain somewhere dry because the house is building from dirt and in a small lump of dirt that they build if we open it you can see there's a lot of chamber inside there and each chamber they will lay one egg in there and then they were collecting they will collect many caterpillar to fill up in each chamber and the egg will hatch and they will eat caterpillar. When they eat all caterpillar, there will be larva like this. There will be a wasp later. This is the way they rely on each other. This wasp, they help to pick caterpillar from our garden and they feed their baby with these caterpillars. So they keep the caterpillars alive in each chamber. So they will not rotten, they will not die. Sometimes we have the most dangerous wasp in the farm. This one is the most dangerous one. When it stings us, it hurts so bad. Some people have to be hospital, hospitalized. It's so pain, it takes long time to heal, to feel better. And we also have beehive at the farm. This will help us pollinate the flowers and everything in the farm. They work very hard to help us produce food for every life. When we said our farm, it's not our farm really, because there are so many life on the farm with us. This is different kind of bees. They work very hard in our farm. This is stingless bees. There are many of them around here. We have 
more than three or four kinds of bees in our area whenever our vegetable have flowers bloom they always have a big party here they enjoy the nectar from our vegetables flowers mm -hmm. we love them and they love us too Meat. there are more than 10 different kinds of grasshopper in our farm many of them so tiny and all of them they help to eat grass they control the grass for us but sometimes they eat our vegetable also but it's not too bad we just share many things together in the night time you can see a lot of cricket this kind of cricket they make very loud noise the season that they're mating we can talk together we can hear each other when we talk because they are so loud they sing a song with their wing all night long it's like a big orchestra we have a lot of music without organizing any concert here while the cricket start the music so loud the snail start the big party they just came out in the evening when the sun set they have a big party in the garden they eat everything in our garden what they love the most in the party is wet paper and dry papaya leaves we just soak in the water and put around the garden all of them will come to eat this food we it's easy for us to collect them and bring them away from our garden this tiny frog they love to look for food in the night time even it's dry but this kind of frog they love to come out in the beginning of rainy season when it rains they have a puddle they will come out a lot and make very loud noise there when they sing a song you can hear from them maybe two kilometers away you still hear from them we have many kind of frogs that they love to come out in the night time they eat a lot of bugs but to fly so they help to control pests in our farm including toad toad love all kind of bugs also there are many kind of aphid love our vegetable because our vegetable is is organic so it tastes good and then it's healthy for them so they love our vegetable if it too many of them we control them by use shampoo that we make ourselves to spray on them or this washing soap to spray on them or sometimes we can use herbal plant to spray on them too but if it's not a lot we just let ladybugs to eat them ladybugs just love aphid it's good food for them and it's organic aphid for them too that's why ladybugs love us when we have many bugs many animals in the farm the next thing we have is snake snake is always come we have many kind of snake at the farm but snake always afraid of us they learn that let us take a picture easily they're too shy they always run away from us when i said my garden it doesn't mean i own my garden alone because there are so many life on my garden with me when i said I grow vegetable it does mean I work alone in the garden because there are so many life help to take care of the garden there are earthworm there are ants there are many things help to till the soil there are many bacteria help to feed our plants there are many life help to take care of our garden so, I never be alone. 
We never be alone. We always be together. We cannot separate from each other. We are one.